I'm Tanya from Relief Pilates Services and Teacher Training in Devon. Um, today I'm going to take you through a Warrior 3 um, yoga posture. And I'm going to break it down for you. So the biggest thing about the Warrior 3 is balance and also our own judgment of ourselves. So we may not all have the best balance and some people can get very frustrated when they try and balance and then they fall over. So let's try not to take yoga too seriously, it's a game and I, when I teach the classes I always say to my clients, when you were five years old and you were climbing up a tree or uh, trying to do something and you fell off or you fell over, did you get angry with yourself or judge yourself? No you didn't, you just got up and tried again. So, Try and have that playful intent when you're playing with balancing um, some of the more challenging postures. So, as a start, if your balance isn't great, or maybe your ankle stability isn't strong enough, or something like that, then it's something that we need to work on to get to that stage. So, this, this stage is in the warriors that um, the warrior threes that I'll take you through. So. For me, the most important thing is alignment and uh, rather than trying to get into the full posture and looking like a snake, start small and then work with that into the deeper postures as you get stronger and stronger and stronger. So the first one for me, okay, so you're standing in this position, is just to get more balance into your hips. Now that's a big thing because if you have got weak bums and you try and balance, on one leg, what might happen is your hips might start to sink out. So, make sure that when you stand on one leg, you actually engage the bum to try and stabilize your hips so they're not going wonky. So, we're going from there, got our balance. Now, can you lift the leg slightly back? So, when the leg starts to lift, if you think of the seesaw, the leg goes up, the head's got to go down. So, from there, leg starts to go up head starts to go down. But I'm keeping my back straight. Traditionally, the warrior is there, but it's a lot harder to do it up there when we start. So I like to keep the hands down because it helps with your balance. And also, if you think of putting your shoulders back and together, your shoulder blades, and sticking your boobs out, if you've got boobs or your hip lips, if you're a man, then you're more likely to be able to keep the spine straight rather than being up there with the arms. So, Keeping the arms down to start with. So from there, shoulders back, tummy in. Now my gaze is going to go from there down the wall to the floor. So maybe today that's as far as I'm going to go with my warrior. So about a year ago I fell down the stairs and I hurt my ankle and it still hasn't um, repaired properly. So I know my balance on my right leg is really dodgy. So I'm still trying to work on the strength in that ankle. So that might be as far as I go with my warrior. Because what we don't want to be is up over that. Okay? So working in there. And then maybe in a week or two weeks, you can go a little bit lower. You can see. <laughs> and then you go a little bit lower. So you're aiming to have your head, this is where mirrors is always helpful, head hips, ankle in one line, okay? Now you can use blocks, so say now you're getting your balance, you, you're quite there, but maybe you can just use a block for that little bit of added support. But remember, blocks are aids, they're not there oh, to have all your weight on. So we need to, um, they're just there for a bit of support rather than to actually do the posture for you. So something I will say about warriors, and this goes for a lot of postures in yoga, is we look at Instagram and we think, oh, I want to look like that. Some of our bodies, the measurements of our limbs will dictate whether you will be able to do a posture or not, or whether a posture is going to be a lot harder for you. So. Um, for example, a warrior for someone like me, because I've got really long arms, would be harder, um, if I had my hands up there, than someone who has short arms. So if you think of, um, you've got your centre of gravity there, 
Now, if I'm stretching a mile past the center of gravity, it's going to be harder than if I've only got this little bit of space over here. If you kind of know what I mean. This, but, um, so if I'm in that posture there and I'm going into my warrior, because I've got to hold my arms up, it's going to be harder than if someone's short. And it goes the same for an extended toe to hand. I've got long arms, so I don't necessarily need uh, leg flexibility for that. Um, other postures like the crane, uh, the crow, this one, where you go into there. Again, I've got long arms, so I can get my leg into the back of the arm rather than um, for someone who's got shorter arms, they might have to work a little bit harder. And sometimes the equipment will make stuff more accessible. Uh, so basically what I'm saying is, again, have fun with your postures, playing around with them, but uh, and don't take them too seriously. And then we get to a point where we have to realize, actually, my body is not the best posture, uh, the best um, anatomically measured body for a crane or the splits or a forward bend or something like that. Okay, so try not to be so. Um, hating on yourself when you're struggling to do a posture because maybe it's just not the right posture for you. So I went off on a tangent then, but I'm really passionate about people um, not being so angry with themselves for doing, not being able to do a posture. Yeah, sometimes we need to work at it, but it might be that actually your arms are too long for a posture and your arms are too short. So worry, three. I said, this is my dodgy side. All the arms can be up there. Like I said, as soon as I take my arms in, it throws me completely off and I can just feel it in that leg. So for me, I'd rather have the arms down the side. It's easier for me to balance and I can look after my alignment better. So that is your Warrior 3. I'm Tanya. Thank you for watching. And uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, third video, and I've managed to get it right. Yes. So thank you so much and take care. Bye.